आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ The question here is that a homozygous tall pea plant with the green seed is crossed with the dwarf pea plant with the yellow seed. What would be the phenotype, genotype of the F1 here, right? And work out the phenotypic ratio of the F2 generation with the help of the Punnett square here, right? So let's see the answer now. So we have to make a cross between the tall pea plant with the green seed here and the dwarf pea plant with the yellow seed here, right? So here the parents they will be. tall green seed right and the another one is the dwarf yellow seed here right now we'll form the gametes of the parents here so the gametes will be this from here and it will be this from here right now the f1 generation will be formed here right so we will make a cross here so they will be we have t t and we have capital y and small y here right so this will be the f1 generation here now we have to make the f2 generation here so f1 generation on selfing that means the self crossing here so they will give us the progenies we have four progenies will be given out we have capital t capital y capital t small y small t capital y and small t and capital y here right and same will be the another case here we'll have the another parent which will give us the same which will be the same gametes will be here and now we will have to make a cross between these progenies formed here right now we have to tell about the f2 generation here and we have to make the punnett square here right so let's make the punnett square now so punnett square is basically used to represent the cross here right and we will write our gametes here in such a way that we would be easy to have the cross same will be written on the same side here right we have t capital y and then we have the small t and small y here right so we will have a cross between now so when we will form the cross it will be capital t capital t capital y capital y it will be this it will be we are having the this condition here it will be tall and it will having the yellow seeds here right the next it will be first we'll write the crosses and then we'll see the features here right so first we need to cross each and every gamete here with each other so that we could get the progenies here right so and after that we will see that which is the dominant character present here and what is the nature of that particular progeny that has formed here right so this is the last we are going to do we have capital t small t small y small y we have t t y y here and then we have t t y y right so here we can see that if we need to figure out the nature here so this is the capital that means this is a tall and these are the yellow seeds here right these are also tall this is also yellow here we have tall here again yellow here because the capital is dominant here right and this is all yellow here right same here tall yellow this is tall and this is green here because this is a recessive character tall and yellow tall and green we have tall and yellow tall and yellow it has dwarf and yellow here we have dwarf and yellow again we have tall and yellow tall and green we have dwarf and yellow and this is dwarf and green here right so if we talk about the phenotypic ratio here right so we have the tall plant with the yellow seeds then we have the tall plant with the green seeds then we have the dwarf plant with the yellow seeds here 
and then we have the dwarf plant with the green seeds here so it the ratio here becomes 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 here right so this is the phenotypic ratio here because we could see that how the appearance would be so that are the phenotypic preferences class 6 to 12 se leke neat iit je mains aur advanced ke level tak 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa aaj hi download kare doubtnet app ya whatsapp kijiye apne doubts 8400400400 400 400 400 par